don't like to do, and that is to uh, use my truck. Use, have to use a uh, different truck. So, what happened is, you know, uh, I come in on Sunday, go to the yard, go out Monday. Every two weeks, you know, we get a service, so I come in. I know it ain't gonna start about 6 a.m. So I come into uh, Monday at the yard at about 8.30 in the morning, you know, and uh, walk in the shop and I see, uh, you know, the mechanics all standing around with the computer plugged into the truck and they're all, you know, talking and stuff and I'm like, Oh crap, I like now what? So, anyway, long story short, I guess uh, when they went to back the truck up off of the pit or something, uh, the clutch, something with the clutch uh, went out anyway. Yeah, the automatics do have a clutch, I guess. Uh, you know, so. I know I had some. Uh, I did have some major transmission work done uh, early 2018. So this is a uh, 2017, by the way, uh, Volvo 780, and uh, got it right at the end of 2016. So I'm on about three years now. And she got about uh, 451,000 miles on it, you know. On Monday. Uh, so, you know, yeah, I guess uh, it's kind of getting up there, but I guess this is a common occurrence anyway because they were familiar with the problem and they said, you know, it'll be in and out, ready to go, you know, by uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. But in the meantime, I'm already, you know, uh, booked to go pick up a load of uh, books and go meet, you know, do my uh, relay because when I have to leave the yard late on Monday, I can't make it to Indianapolis to have my 10 hour break and come back. So we do a relay in, in Ohio. But anyway, the, yeah, the point is it really sucks because you know, I, had to, so I had to use a, a, another, usually they'll give you know, an empty truck if they got one or rental truck or whatever, you know, and anyway, I had a, a guy, I guess, was on vacation or something, so he took, uh, I ran his truck for a day, but what really sucks, man, is because, you know, you guys just seen, like, all that, you know, you go out and you buy all your groceries that I just bought last week and everything, and and then you're out there, it's like, uh, oh, you know, you have, you have, you're, not in, you're not in your home, your truck, your home, in somebody else's home, basically. You got no food. So now, I mean, I'm out there freaking uh, buying, uh, you know, sliders from Arby's and freaking pre-filled donuts pizza at the pilot, you know, just uh, whatever, man, vending machine, potato chips, you know, whatever, just junk, just trying to get by for the day, they didn't have my damn food, and that's, I'm not going to buy all that stuff on, you know, that expensive stuff out there on the road, man, I, I, I ain't going to buy all that, I already bought all my damn food for the week. Anyway, but, I mean, technically I could have took it with me, you know, because, uh, you know, I still had a fridge and everything in it. I could have took some of it with me, but there really is not wasn't worth the hassle. Uh, basically, I took my phone and uh, my shower bag and my phone and, I mean, that's about it. And my headset, you know, stuff, bare minimum, but, uh, man. So, yeah, it's, uh, 
you know, luckily, so anyway, I ran up to Buffalo, picked up, ran back through uh, last night, and, and picked up my truck and went on back. So everything is okay now. You know, so luckily with this uh, dedicated run, you know, I get in and out, back and forth every day. You know, I've had times where I got stuck in a, you know, in a spare truck or something for like freaking two weeks, you know. But anyway, what made me realize when this guy, uh, I got his truck, you know, and like, it's, I'm thinking like, man, like this guy travels light, you know, he's got like, uh, like a little uh, suitcase on stuff, was maybe that he kept his clothes in or whatever. It's like all the, you see like uh, around uh, the top, you know, and stuff, all the cabinets, everything was empty. Like, look the guy, this guy travels light, man. Like nothing. So I got to thinking, man, and, and, and I got back in my truck and I'm looking and I'm like, man, I got stuff crammed everywhere, man. Like every hole, every cabinet. You know, every little crab, there's something crammed somewhere. Like, my closets are jammed. I mean, I got so much clothes, man. Like, it's, like, sometimes I would literally go, I could go over a month and not do laundry and just, and still have clean clothes. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, so I got to thinking today, man, like, after I got uh, down there to, you know, Shelbyville and got unloaded and everything. And I'm like, well, what is this? You know, like, well, if I have to change to a, when I have to move to a new truck, man, it take, could take me like a good day or half a day to do that because of all the crap. So, uh, anyway, I started going through everything. Oh, man, I got, you know, uh, Audio books, graphic audio, uh, like crazy, you know, books and all that, like that I never read, uh, you know, movies, whatever, man. I had two Super Nintendos, you know, one regular Super Nintendo and then one of the new uh, pre computed Super Nintendo deals that they came out with, and, uh, you know, that I don't even play. And I just, just stuff, man, like junk everywhere, so I cleaned all that stuff out, and uh, put it all together, and uh, dropped it off at the house on my way through there tonight, so I mean, I feel a lot better now, and uh, and, and my, oh yeah, and like the clothes, like all my, almost like 90% of all my clothes, like t-shirts and all that, like I took all that out like, cause now I've got a uh, Pretty much just gonna go where I'm wearing like company polos and stuff. Like, I just ordered six new company polos, so I'll be uh, having a. I'll do a video on, on that later in a couple of weeks after I get that. Like, my new. Uh, all my company polos and stuff. Cause, uh, like I said, if uh, in my uh, older videos, but if you hadn't seen them, we get. Every 20,000 miles, we get an $80 certificate to uh, the print and embroidery shop. So, uh, then we make all our own, you know, you can make clothes, hats. I got clothes, hats, bags. I got jackets. Uh, I got everything, man. I've been doing it for years. So, yeah, it's, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, so, that's what I'm going to start doing, uh, trying to make some nice uh, polos, you know, to be... Uh, more professional than just wearing like uh, the silly t-shirts that I came up with all that kind of stuff so but anyway so yeah I mean the closets are clean the t-shirts all that's gone like half of my jeans are out of here like I had a whole stack of jeans I mean it just it was uh, it was crazy just I can't believe how much stuff I was carrying around for uh, no reason whatsoever, man. Like, just, and you do that, man, like, on the road, like, I mean, if you're not careful, like, some people are just like that, you just start collecting stuff and don't even realize it until you go to move your truck, and you're like, oh my god, what am I doing with all this stuff, but, anyway, I, I got it down now, uh, so I'm happy with 